Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We are so glad you've taken time to join us today. We're excited about what uh, we know God is doing in this area and in your life as well, in our life. Amen. He is moving, changing, doing great and mighty things yes. across, this, uh, across this globe. Amen. Amen. Everywhere. The Spirit of God is moving. You don't hear that on the national media, mm. but the Spirit of God is moving and doing great and mighty things because that's we serve a great and mighty God. Amen. 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 And so uh, we want to we want to share some things with you. First of all, I want I want to welcome those that's listening on the Gur radio station. Yes. Uh, online radio station there, the Gur, the gospel, uh, the gospel rock and radio. Amen. And and so glad to have them joining us uh, on the program. And so if you're listening on the Gur radio station, we thank you for being there. Mm-hmm. Amen. And uh, Amen. Uh, we just encourage you and, and hope that, that we will bless you, that you'll be blessed today by, by the program as well. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you're watching from wherever you are, we pray that you're blessed as well Amen. today. Amen. Amen. We are living, Brother Rusty, in a very confused world. Yes. Yes. The, the confusion is so, you can see it. Yes. I mean, you can turn on the TV, Absolutely. go on your mobile phones, and see confusion. And I'm sorry. In everything. Yeah, even some of the leaders, national yes. leaders are confused. You can tell yes. it. Amen. Amen. You know, we live in a chaotic world where you never know from one minute to the next what's going to happen. No, no. You, you know, you can't, we, we should, and we do try to plan but you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Exactly. You know, the life, the, the the world that we live in today is very accused, uh, very confused, and very chaotic. Yes. Amen. And so, Amen. Uh, you you talked a little bit last night. And by the way, let me mention to you that uh, we talk a lot about maybe sometimes what Rusty ministered on Wednesday night here at Exciting Live Word Fellowship Church, and uh, here in Anderson, Missouri. And and if you can, you need to go to. Uh, Exciting Living Word Church, Exciting Living Word Fellowship Church Facebook page, mm-hmm. and uh, I think it's at the bottom of the screen there, mm-hmm. uh, the address and such, and and YouTube, and it's on YouTube as mm-hmm. well, Exciting Amen. Living Word Fellowship Church uh, on YouTube and Facebook, yes. and you need to check out now. Brother Rusty ministers every Wednesday evening. Uh, Pastor Haskell Martin, of course, ministers Sunday morning and sun, most of the time Sunday morning and Sunday night uh, if he's if he can. And so, uh, but I'm telling you, you will be blessed. Uh, the Wednesday nights, the last several Wednesday nights has been tremendous. All of them are good, but I don't know, it just kind of ministered to Lisa and I uh, a little bit more maybe than, than others. And we're all, we're all like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, but he was ministering, you were ministering last night on making the Word of God final authority in our lives. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and, and so you opened with the scripture of Malachi 3 and 6. Mm-hmm. That says, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Yes. Our God never changes. Never changes. Never changes. Never. I change not. Right. And, you know, neither does his word. What he said in his word is still true today. Amen. Amen. I've said this for many, many years. This is the only truth on this planet. Yes. Yes. There is no other truth. Mm-mm. This is it. Now, there may be some facts, but as I've preached a lot over the years, just because it's facts doesn't mean it's truth. Right. There's right. a difference in just being a fact and being truth. And God said, let God be true and every man be a liar. Right. Amen. Amen. His word doesn't change. He doesn't change. What he did uh, in the days of old, he will yes. do today. Yes. He is able yes. to do. I'm not just talking about the miraculous things, but that's included. Mm-hmm. Amen. What he was able to do then, he is able to do today. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, his word should be final authority in our lives. Mm-hmm. If you are a born again child of God today, watching this program, the word of God needs to be the final authority. Amen. You know, we as husbands, we as men, have the authority that mm-hmm. God has given us. Amen. To be the head of the household. That's right. That's that's scriptural. I know some women will argue with that, but they can't argue with the word because it's But the thing plain. about it is, here's something that's beneficial for the women. Mm-hmm. Okay, a lot of times men will blame the woman, the wife. Sure. Okay, but as I heard a minister, well-known minister, said, 
we can blame we basically we can blame our wives but we are accountable for it exactly so here's the thing ladies that's right you're covered amen they might blame you for it he might blame you for it but he's responsible he's responsible amen amen so be encouraged with that that's amen. absolutely you know lisa used to tell the women a lot of times she's i've heard her tell so many women over the years <laughs> yeah. you know at different conversations maybe women's meetings yeah. when she's ministering or something that uh uh you know that that if he says this is God, mm -hmm. then he has to answer for that. Amen. You know, now Amen. you may have to pay somewhat of a price if he's wrong right. as well. Right. But you don't have to stand before God does. He's the one who has to stand before God. Exactly. Which really puts the weight back on the husband. Yes. It really yeah. does. Oh, it does. Amen. And so, you know, if we will make the word of God final authority in our lives, mm -hmm. it gives us stability. Yes. It causes us to be firm, a yes. firm foundation if we have the Word of God as the final authority in our lives. Amen. Uh, when everything else around us falls apart, yes. He's still God. Yes. The Word is still the Word. Yes. And in the world that we live in today, lots of things are falling apart. Lots of things are yeah. falling apart. And, and nobody knows mm -mm. what tomorrow holds. Exactly. But exactly. I can encourage you with this Word. I know who holds tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but right. we know who holds tomorrow. Yes. Amen. And so, uh, you know, even though we don't understand and maybe we don't, we disagree with a lot of things that's happening in this mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. and maybe we might even be uh, in agreement with a lot of the things that's wrong, right. I'm telling you that the Word of God needs to be the final authority in our life, and we have to line our life up with that mm -hmm. Word. Amen. And one example, I know I brought this up last night mm -hmm. in, his, in, his, in his humorous way, but one of the confusion ways that we see now is men dressing like women. Come on. Now, are you judging? No, I'm speaking out the confusion. Yes. They choose to do this. It's become a, an episode, TV yes. programs. Let me tell you something. Man is confused. Yes. That's what it is. It's, it's not a based on judgmental. It's based on the devil has confused man. Amen. Amen. You know, if we will let God mm -hmm. settle the issues of this life in right. our lives, right. we'll be confident yes. in the Word of God when others are confused. Yes. Amen. We live in a very confused world Amen. where Amen. men don't know if they're a man or a woman. Right. That's confusion, church. That is. Amen. A woman don't know if she's a woman or a man. That's that's confusion. What do you and, identify as? Yeah. That's confusion. That's confusion. Amen. Um, you know, some people don't even know if they're a human being or an animal. Right. You know, right. Uh, it wasn't very long ago. I know it hit major news mm -hmm. about somebody, one of the kids. I don't remember the age of the child, if the young child or older child. I don't remember. But they had to put a litter box in the classroom. In the classroom. Because... One of the children there identified as a cat. Yes. That's uh, confusion on our children. To me, there's a devil loose. There's a devil loose. You yes. Know, that's all I can say. Yes. You know, uh, whether you agree or disagree, right. there's a devil loose. Amen. Amen. That's even, that goes further than just confusion. Mm -hmm. It Amen. does. Yes, they're definitely Amen. confused. Absolutely. The confusion is the open door. Amen. Causing the devil to go in and do his thing. Amen. You know, James 3.16 says, Where mm -hmm. envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. Amen. You know, where envy and strife is, there's confusion. So confu when that door is open, just like what you're saying, that mm -hmm. door. When that door is opened, confusion steps in. Yes. And sometimes we don't, we don't know what's going on. We don't know mm -hmm. what to do. Nope. Nope. You know, our, our child comes home and says, well, you know, I, I, you know, our little boy comes home and says, well, I think I'm a little girl. No, mm -hmm. there's been a door open somewhere to confuse that little boy. He's not a little girl. And it's up to you as dad and you as mom to stand up and say, no, you are a boy. Yes. Yes. You are a male. Amen. You know, and, and I, again, a confused and chaotic world we live in, they're trying to pass laws right now. They're trying to pass the law that the child can have that surgery and operation mm -hmm. to change from one gender to another gender mm -hmm. without 
any knowledge of the parent. Yes. Or without any any uh, consideration or any uh, authority from the parent. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, there's a devil loose. There is a devil loose. And he's running rampant all over the United States Amen. of America. Amen. Amen. And all over the world. Amen. That is demonic. Mm -hmm. And it's a demonic influence Amen. on our children and on our adults. Yes. Just like you said well ago, you know, the drag queen. Yeah. You know, men dressing as women and, and such. And, you know, that is confusion, but that's a devil. That's, yes. That's what that is. It's just a devil. Amen. That needs to be cast out. Amen. 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 And I believe today in this world we live in, mm -hmm. we as a body of Christ mm -hmm. still have the power yes. to do that very Amen. thing. Amen. Come that's on. Cast that devil out. Amen. Amen. We have the authority right there. If right there. God, the word of God is our final authority. And if we are living according to the word of God, we have that authority right there in our life. Amen. Amen. To, to cast that devil out and get him out of our children Come on. and yep. get it out of our classroom yes. and get it out of our schools and Amen. our colleges, get it out, out of our jobs and get it completely out of this country. Mm -hmm. You say, well, brother Jack, I don't know if that'll ever happen. I'm telling you, we have the power to do it. Amen. We do. You know, we have that authority. Notice what the Amplified Bible says about James 3.16. For wherever there is jealousy, we see this. Come on. Jealousy, envy, and contention. Oh, we see contention every single day on the networks. Yeah. Rivalry and self-ambition. Yeah. There will also be confusion, unrest, disharmony, Amen. rebellion. Come on. This whole thing on the drag queen is rebellion to the word of God. Amen. And all sorts of evil and vile practices. We're, we're seeing this right before our eyes. Absolutely. Amen. Brother Rusty, are you judging? No, I'm not judging. I'm telling you the facts. Amen. I'm telling you the facts. This is what we're seeing. The Amen. body of Christ have got to stand up, pray, speak the word of God. Amen. Amen. You know, let me mention this. Mm-hmm. And I totally agree and understand what you're saying. We're not judging their heart. No. But we have every right to judge the fruit Amen. and the sin. Amen. You know, the Word of God teaches us and tells us how to live. Yes, yes. And it's something as simple and basic as are you a man or are you a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very basic. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about, you know... Two and three and three, four year old babies yes, yes. know if they're a boy or a girl. Right. Yeah. Brooklyn is three years old. She knows she's a little girl. Almost she could five. be four. Oh, she's five. Okay. Almost five. Yeah, almost, almost five years old. Yeah. But, but one of the little girls in our church, um, in fact, it's your great niece. Great niece. Yeah, she just turned I, four. I started saying niece, but yeah, her mom <laughs> yeah, is your niece. Yeah. Uh, and, and so it's, it's, it's her daughter that's five years old, but she knows she's a little girl. Yes, she does. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And, and I've got lots of grandsons. Yes. And every one of them grew up knowing, and today they still know they're male. Right. You know? Of course. And something as basic and simple as that. And, and then for even grown men or grown women, whichever, mm -hmm. a man that decides to change and say, well, you know, I don't, I don't think so. No, that's a devil. No. That's right. That's a devil. You know? And and uh, it, it, it sometimes infuriates me. Yes. You know, I, I try not to let that show so much. Right. <laughs> you know? I, but but sometimes amen. that infuriates me whenever amen. they try to make excuses. Yes. And and that's all it is is our excuses. Uh, you know, the same thing with the homosexual lifestyle. Right. We live in a confused world. Right. Absolutely. You know? Another thing is, and I'm not trying to promote movies. Right. But if you need a little bit of education, watch Kindergarten Cop. Amen. The old movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger, kindergarten cop, and you'll find out what you are. Amen. <laughs> a little boy tells what you are. <laughs> amen. Amen. The word, amen. The word of God gives us stability. Yes. Yes. It, it causes us to become stable. Stable. Oh, in our hallelujah. thinking, in our living, in our speaking, in everything about us. The word of God causes stability amen. to come up in our hearts and amen. in our lives. Amen. To where we understand. Somebody said, well, you know, I have a hard time reading the Word. I have a hard time understanding the Scripture. 
Well, there's not a whole, it's not real difficult to understand. No. Thou shalt not lie. That's right. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Those are simple, basic statements. Mm -hmm. When I say thou, let's, let's make it more modern English. You, you shall not lie. Yeah. I shall not lie. Man shall not lie. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, steal or anything like that. So if we have a hard time understanding the Word of God, mm -hmm. then let's start with the part that we do understand. Right. And if we we'll start with the part we do understand, I think God will give us a greater understanding of the part we don't understand. Amen. You know? And what's another... Um, understanding of thou shall not, don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. That's it. How simple. There's a revelation. Don't do it. Don't, just don't do it. <laughs> you know, to him Amen. that knoweth to do good and doeth it not is sin. Sin. So Plain we know simple. to do good, but we don't do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, I, I, every, we mentioned them, so I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. Every drag queen. Yes. Yes. So what, drag queen? Drag queen or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm not real familiar with those terms. <laughs> but every, every man that dresses up like a woman mm -hmm. and acts to be a woman right. was born, was created in the image of God. Yes. In the likeness of our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Every one of them was. Right. And I can tell you, amen, I can tell you that uh, they don't want to hear that, mm -mm. but that's the truth. Every atheist was born and created mm -hmm. in the image of God. Exactly. Exactly. They, they can claim there is no God, but that don't, that don't make it true. That don't make it so. You know, every, everyone that claims to be an atheist was created in God's image. And what did God say to Jesus and the Holy Spirit? Let us make man. In our image. In our image, in our likeness. So there's the answer to, was well, this wrong, this wrong? Let right. us make man in our image, in our likeness. That's yep. the answer. And if the Word of God said homosexuality was an abomination unto God, Ever how many thousands of year goes, years ago it was, mm -hmm. back in Genesis or wherever it was that mm -hmm. it says that. Mm -hmm. That still stands in 2023. Yes. If it was a sin then, it's a sin now. Amen. If it was an abomination then, mm -hmm. it's an abomination now. That's why we need to pray for those people. That's right. They need prayer. That's right. They're confused. Amen. You know, we, I said, Wago, we live in a confused world. Mm -hmm. uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 33 says, God is not the author of confusion. Amen. You know, the confusion doesn't come from God. No. Any no. part of confusion. Now, we're talking about some major things, major confusion going on in the world today. Mm -hmm. We're talking about confusion just between you and I sometimes, yes. perhaps. Yes, yes. You know, God's not the author no. of that. No, We can disagree and not be confused. Right. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm, what I'm saying is, is God's not the author of any confusion. That's so right. if God's not the author of it, who is? That's right. The devil. The devil. Absolutely. Because if he can get us confused, then he can steal. He can steal the word. If he can cause you to doubt God's word to mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. he will steal God's word from you. Amen. Amen. Let me say that again. If Satan can cause you to can cause you to doubt the Word of God to you, what God has spoken in His Word about you, what mm -hmm. the man of God has laid His hand on your head and told you. If He can cause you to doubt that Word, yes. then yes. He can steal that Word. That's right. He can steal that Word from your heart. Because there's no stability there. You know, you've got rock, rock singers today who was raised in Pentecostal churches. Right. Amen. Their daddies are still Pentecostal preachers. Yes, yes. And if I call their name... Katy Perry. Yes. Katy Perry's daddy was a Pentecostal preacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and so, you know, different ones, not just her, but lots right. of different singers and, and, and artists and such across this country uh, was raised in, you know, God-fearing home mm -hmm. and was raised in church singing gospel music. Amen. Amen. Somewhere, the Word of God got stolen from them. Right. Right. Somewhere in their hearts and their lives, 
Something happened and they became confused. Mm -hmm. There was a door open somewhere. And so we want to tell you today that if you're confused mm -hmm. about the Word of God, it's mm -hmm. really simple. Yes. It is so simple. Yes. We just simply believe it. Yes. You know, and sometimes preachers, sometimes we're the worst. Mm -hmm. we, we complicate things from the pulpit. Yes, yes. When really it's simple. Christ died on the cross of Calvary for our sins. He shed his blood for the remission of our sins. We pray, we accept him into our heart and life, mm -hmm. and that's it. Amen, amen. That's how simple it is. Simple, you know, simple. That's really how simple it is. Yes. So when we make the word of God final authority in our lives, mm -hmm. it gives us stability when everything else around us falls apart. Amen. You know, uh, everybody else is confused. We'll be confident in God. That's right. That's you right. Know. Uh, we'll have the peace of God when others are under pressure and when, when, when confusion sets into them and, and it, their lives become chaotic, we can still walk in the peace of Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Because the authority of God is, is, is in us. And that is an open door for when people ask, how are you so at peace with this? Yes. Then you can share, you can share the peace of God. Yes. Which passes all my all understanding. understanding keeps my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. And they say, man, I wish I had that. You can have that. Amen. You've got to choose to have that. That's Amen. Right. That's right. We choose to have that. Yes. And we will be overcoming yes. our obstacles and our battles and our struggles when others are being overcome. Yes. Amen. You know, there are battles that come up against every one of us. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have struggles just like everybody. All yes. of us have struggles. Yes. But we can't triumph over that battle if there is no battle. Right, right. You know, there is a First Corinthians two, Second Corinthians two fourteen says. Uh, I may have to look it up here if you got it there in front of you. Me. Second Corinthians two fourteen. I don't Second have it in front of me. Two fourteen. I want to say it right. Yes. Uh, two fourteen. Let's see. Now, thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. Which always causes. Always. Us. Not, yes, go yes. ahead. Go ahead. Always, not 50% of the time. Always. Not 90% of the time. Yes, yes. 100% of the time yes. causes us to, to triumph. In, in Christ. Christ. Yes. That's the key. Yes. We triumph in Christ. We overcome the struggle. We overcome the battle in Christ. Yes. By, by selling out to Christ, by, yes. by that authority being uh, in, in our life and being the final authority in our life. Yes. Amen. The Word of God. Amen. We overcome every struggle, every obstacle, every battle. Yes. Yes. Every pain in our body. Mm -hmm. Amen. We overcome it. Amen. Through Christ. Because He already has overcome it. That's right. He's already triumphed over it. Amen. My gosh. When He took the keys from the devil... My, you know, he, that's a shame. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I heard something today on television. I was right. watching today. We win. Yes. Because he won. Amen. Automatic. We win mm. automatically because he won. Amen. And we're sold out to him. That's right. Amen. And I trust that you're sold out to him yes. today. If yes. you're not. You can get there. Get Amen. Home. We got about three or four minutes left. Okay. Amen. I want you to pray yes. uh, for those watching. And, and I want you to pray with Brother Rusty today. Yes. Amen. If you've been confused about issues in your life or your children, or and I'm not talking about you know, the stuff we was talking about necessarily all while ago. Right. I'm talking about any confusion at all. We bind that spirit of confusion. Mm -hmm. Amen. In your life. Amen. Brother Rusty is going to lead you. Lead yes. us in prayer today. Amen. Pray with him. Yes. Father, we just thank you. That your word says, call unto me, and I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, I pray for those that are watching that may be in a state of confusion, but they're temporary there because in the name of Jesus, they receive revelation during this program. Father, minister to them. As they call out, go ahead and call out unto him, and he's going to show you great and mighty things which you do not know of. Yes. Confusion is leaving them right now. Amen. They have the peace of God. 
passing all understanding, keeping the heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for revealing to them what they need to know. The revelation, the knowledge, and understanding that wipes out confusion altogether, yes. and you are ministering to them your truth. Hallelujah. That they that way they know yes. what they believe, they know what they understand, and they know the re revelation they're receiving right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and encourage them in the name of Jesus. Keep your eyes on him for he knows where you're at and he's drawn you right out he will pull you right up yes. with his hands in the name of jesus father we thank you and we praise you in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. hallelujah amen if that prayer meant something to you if you felt the presence of god the power yes. of god come into Lord your life god. right then come into that room where you're sitting mm -hmm. i want you to call the number it's on the screen yes amen we will answer we will pray with you amen, amen personally amen. and and we will b trust and believe with you and hold your arms up before the lord yes amen that confusion has to go has to go Ca the chaos the chaos yes has to go amen amen your children will serve God will serve all God. of their life. Amen. Your grandchildren will serve God all of their life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, we got a slew of them. Yes. <laughs> we got a house full when all of our kids and grandkids Hallelujah. are there. Amen. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, we stand upon the word of God that yes. every one of them are going to serve God. Yes. Amen. And not only serve him just enough to be saved, mm. but they're going to be saved full of the Holy Ghost of God. Amen. They're going to be called into the ministry. Yes. They're going to preach and sing, and they're going to, they're going to do great things for the yes. kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're believing that for you, for yes. your children, for your grandchildren as yes. well. Amen. Amen. So, uh, you know, until we see you yes. again next week, Amen. Pray for us. Yes. The, the, the new studio is coming along. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hopefully in the next, the next service, or next uh, program or two, we will be able to, uh, Maybe show you some pictures of some progress and such that's going on, taking place. Amen. Amen. But until we see you again, tell them what time it is. It's time to testify. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. What's happening, everyone? My name is Jarrett Brantley. You're watching Kingdom News Now. It is time to testify. Our sponsor this week for Kingdom News Now is Oil & Wine Ministries of Anderson, Missouri. Oil & Wine Ministries is the ministry of Sam and Judy Weaver. It is a ministry of inspirational poems, books, and bookmarks. Check them out at www.samweaver.org or email them at info at samweaver.org. Or for more information, you can call 417-845-3533. We say thank you to Oil & Wine Ministries and samweaver.org for sponsoring this program.